Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Casper's Side. How the devil are you? Huh? I'm so glad that you're okay, mate. Huh? Today, we're going to be looking at a little channel called Depth of Despair. Make sure you go to the channel, subscribe, and do the thing. Okay? Let's get Depth of Despair, like maximum subscribers, mate. Okay? This video is called Five Scary Ghost Videos That Will Satisfy Your Horror Dose. It's not a particularly long one. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> Without further ado, Dirty Lite, let's do this. Shh. Go on, Depths of Despair. Top five scary ghost videos caught on camera. Yeah. The Zoom call. Facebook user April. Right, okay. This is like, this is something so fucking strange straight off the bat, mate. Look at the state of this. I look at her face and it reminds me for some strange reason of wh what was that old British program called? Was it Dungeons and Dragons? When they've got the helmet on their head and a back, like a little side pack, like bag, and then you've got three friends watching you on TV, and they're like, There's a table in front of you with a loaf of bread. Pick up the bread and put it in your backpack. Two steps forward. You're right next to the zombie. Turn right now. You'll know what it is. I'm sure it's Dungeons and Dragons. It's a children's program. <laughs> or Crisanto from... Just say you, mate. Look at you with your digital face. In the Philippines works as an online trainer. Training... Her eyes have got a mind of a bloody own. ...new recruits via Zoom call presentations for a company over in California. April and her team work remotely. And as the team leader, it's her job to train any new trainees. She, I know there's a green screen, right? But she looks like she looks like a computer character. However, due to the different time zones, her team operates very late at night. So one day, April is on a Zoom call with her. He looks like he's about to shit himself any second, mate. He knows what's about to go down. Her team at night, when suddenly, one of them has a creepy encounter during the call. Chris, kay AJ, kay Katong, since uh, day one, kay naman sila naman may ubang kitakil ng modules nila sa, ano, sa trailhead na apil po na itake nila. So guys, it's already 12pm. You may join Vince sa Google Meet na link sa Hey Vince, invite. what And, was, what? I didn't say, was it something? Yo, what was it? Uy, AJ. What was, I didn't see shit, Uy, mate. I didn't, invite. And, You may join Vince bottom right, bottom right. sa Google Meet na link sa calendar invite and Yo, what was that? I heard, I heard noise. Boy, age. I heard noise. Ako yung nakita sa likod ni mo. Anya na lang. Dito, dito, sa pikas, sa pikas, sa pikas. Sa pikas. There, there, on your side. Oh, are we talking about the bottom left hand corner? Let me just see again. Vince, yo, what was that? Oh! 12pm, you may join Vince sa Google Meet na link sa calendar invite and Yo, what was that? Oh, age! Look at, what's going on with your hair, mate? Hang on a second. I saw a little white blob. I think the sound effects was more scary than the actual white blob. And for some reason, I feel like he's in on it. I don't know. Such a right, right. In a second, you see it. So, guys, it's already 12 p.m. You may there. join Vince. Sa Google Meet na link sa calendar. And there again. Yo, what was that? Oh, age. Ako yung nakita sa likod ni mo. I saw something behind you, AJ. Anya na lang. Dito, dito, sa pikas. See how we go straight to the camera? I'm a bit suspicious about this one. Pikas, pikas. Sa pikas. Asa? Na ako yung nakita. Oh, man. Wait, <laughs> <laughs> dira. Pitindog, yuta ko. Oh, that is strange, though. That there's nothing there. Na there's not even a ni, door there, I don't know kung ni Agi or kamot or legs. Marag ni kitaas. Or nai ni Agi. 
Why is he not saying anything? He's just sort of like, he's just sort of like, yeah. You freaked out, bitch. You freaked out. As you can see, something that looks like a white figure quickly rises up and darts behind AJ. But luckily, it was captured by his webcam. April, on the other hand, was so spooked <coughs> that she had forgotten she was on a work call <laughs> and accidentally swore before muting her mic out of shock. Later on, AJ told April that he had been experiencing paranormal activity inside his apartment for over seven years now. Oh shit, okay, that's that's weird. Would you say that to your boss? Or, 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 or like a higher up work colleague? Would you say that? And that doors would slam shut on their own. Four sets would turn on by themselves, as well as loud bangs that could be heard around the house. And anyone who would stay over and sleep the night would have a sleep paralysis episode. Oh god, oh. that's just one good reason not to go around this bloody house, mate, for fucking sleep paralysis. Oh god, do you want to come over? Yeah, like yeah, yeah, we'll watch a film and um, yeah, but I've got to be home at ten. No, mate, oh, we'll start the film at nine, so it's going to be at least like eleven thirty. No, I'm going home at ten, mate. I don't want to stay there tonight. Not happen after last time, mate. What happened last time? I got a fucking shadow bastard hovering over me at night. Of a little child sitting on their chest, AJ claims that he would sometimes see this same child and a woman manifesting inside his apartment. So, is this a real haunting? Or just a very odd coincidence. Whatever the case, it sure is creepy. Uh, I don't know, man. Now that I've, I'm not so, I'm not quite as skeptical now after hearing that backstory. You know, so it's amazing what a backstory can do. Don't, don't go, go down, down there. The next video comes from the YouTube channel Axis Two Five Two Seven, which is run by a guy named Julian. Julian says that he has been hearing strange things around the house, but has never seen anything physically odd, except for today when he decided to head down into the basement to play his Nintendo Wii, and noticed that the light was already on when he opened the door, mm. even though he is home alone. Mm. So he decided to record, and what he captures is without a doubt, chilling. Okay, this is Julian documenting something that's happened today. <coughs> I've just came downstairs from studying and drawing all day. No one else has been home, and I just decided to go down and play Zelda in my basement because that's where my Wii is. And when I decided, when I opened the door, the lights were on, and no one else has been home. So I'm gonna record this if anything happens. I'm gonna change it so you can see what I think right now. So this is going downstairs we're gonna see if Shush. we can see anything oh my god light just what? turned off let's see if any you know what that, that was probably just some electrical thing uh, Probably, yeah, yeah, straight into, straight up denial, mate. Right here. The bottom of the basement. Mate, no. that's a maximum basement. Jesus. Mary and Jojo. Look at this, look at the size of that thing. That's what she said. <laughs> Shut up. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen, mate. Oh my, oh my fucking. Oh my God. That chair just moved, I'm documenting this. I don't know how that could have happened. I'm a skeptic on this whole subject, so I have no reason. I, I, I don't know how to explain that. I, I just know I'm going upstairs. Oh my god. Oh my god. Run! What? No. Kick it down, mate. Is there 
anything here. I just command you to shut the door. Ho, 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 ho. It's magic, you know. I command you to shut the door? This kid is rambling with it right now. Oh my god. Meow. As he descends the basement. Wait, he got locked in there? And stairs, the lights quickly turn off by themselves. And while looking around the basement, a chair slides towards him all on its own. So he just decides to get out of there before anything else happens. But while making his way back up, the door closes by itself and then once again this time the door closes on command but whether this is a real ghost or not you be the jug the next video comes from the tiktok user ak47 hey, the owner like of the account is a woman who lives alone with her children as and her ak47 such she has decided to make the necessary preparations to ensure their safety at home by setting up maximum glasses please multiple security cameras around the house and outside the premises in the event that anything were to happen however she received a motion detection alert one night from one of her cameras pointing towards the basement when she checked the footage, she was shocked. Watch closely. What was that? As you can see, something creepy emerges from the basement and makes its way upstairs. A creepy blur. What is the blur? Viewers then requested that she move the camera towards the stairs to get a better angle and see what she captures. And it doesn't take very long for the camera to capture something else. Oh my fucking god! Oh! What the hell? Something creepy quickly zooms across the narrow pathway at the bottom of the basement stairs. It, just, it starts off like that, mate. It's like, start, it just starts off like that. And it teleports on the other side. And whatever it was, it was so fast that the footage had to be slowed down substantially just for us to... Do you see it? What's that about? <laughs> Catch a glimpse. Now, after a few more nights of peace, she receives a motion detection alert, and this time, her jaw would drop at the sight. Oh shit. <gasps> what the hell am I seeing here, mate? It's familiar though. She's familiar. I remember her. Have I seen this one? What looks like a full face manifests within the basement and looks to be making its way upstairs. Each time it's seen- What the hell is that, man? I've seen, like they're popping up quite a lot, you know. A couple of, a couple of videos back, we saw like the- the, the smoky and the mate may of the head that just floats about and going by the well, whatever that one was, made freaking me right out. I think that was like, um, about, probably about four or five videos ago, mate. Right? The, 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 the thumbnails, the bloody, the, the well, and I'm like, ah, and then there's rain on the, on the front cover of, of the thumbnail. That, mate, and, and this fucking floating head shit. What is that all about? Is that sort of like, the beginning of a manifestation or something. And then the glowing bastard beady eyes. Seems to manifest more and more clearly as we can see the bright Look! glowing eyes. It's got a spiral. It's, it's, it's the spiral of the fucking dragon, mate. It's as it moves around. 
She was then asked if she had any creepy collectible items in the basement and that's when she responded with this. Just this half burnt baby doll. These. They are legit antiques. A friend of mine will not come in my basement because he says it's creepy to have antique um, mirrors. And they are heavy. He won't come into your basement because you've got mirrors. Antique, whatever, mate. I also have the clock. I refurbished this clock. It is a real antique. It works. <clears throat> Excuse me. But my kids say that the chime is really creepy, so they... Oh, that is a nice clock, but I bet it just goes... Dong! They never want me to turn it on. So just who or what exactly is this basement dweller ah. that seems to be making multiple appearances within this basement? And could these antique items possibly be responsible somehow? Let me know what you think down in the comments. <sighs> If you have any video <laughs> recommendations, you can send them over at Depths of Despair. The new apartment. Ooh, like the new house. <laughs> TikToker El Gap Official recently moved into a new apartment and says that ever since he moved in and settled down, he has witnessed many supernatural occurrences. He lives alone and says that something similar happened in his old home, but it was never as strong as this. While recording a video explaining his absence to his viewers, he captures this. Okay. Amigos, no he podido subir Spotlight, mi contenido aquí gracias, en Snapchat. Gracias, porque... gracias, gracias, gracias. Me estoy mudando, apenas acabo de llegar a este... A penis, what? ...apartamento completamente nuevo, de verdad, mil disculpas, pero ya les prometo que ahora sí, en estos días... <laughs> you know, I was about to look over there to say I was going to see a shadow bastard or something like that, mate. It made me jump more than I expected. And I think the jump freaked me out more than the jump thing. Estoy solo y me acaban de cerrar la puerta que está atrás de mí, que es la del baño. No es la primera vez que me pasa. Justo eso les iba a decir. No es la primera vez que me pasa. No es la... It probably would help if I read the subtitles. Primera vez que me pasa, se los juro, y no hay nadie. There is nobody. No hay nadie. No es la primera vez que me pasa. No persona. As he is talking, the door to the bathroom behind him slams shut all by itself. On another night, he is woken up around 3:30 a.m. to the sounds of strange and creepy noises. So he pulls his phone out to record and proceeds to investigate. He ends up capturing something chilling. Watch a shadow closely. bastard, maybe? Son las tres y media de la noche y estoy escuchando ruidos muy extraños. Muy extraños. Lo más perturbador de todos es que la luz del baño está prendida y no hay nadie. Oh Why shit not? in hell, mate. I'm not being funny, mate, but this place looks freaky as F. Okay, let's carry on. Voy a apagarla porque neta me está dando mal. Ah, ah, ah. Look at you! Is that somebody? Hay alguien al fondo. Hay alguien al fondo. There's somebody in the background. There clearly no, is somebody no. there, mate. Oh my fucking god, no, mate. No way! No. Let me see that again. Oh. Lights out, motherfucker. Oh, please. If you turn that off again, it's going to be there, is it? Is it going to be lights out? It's fucking lights out, mate. Peter Porky. Run! Yeah. Y la prenda desaparece. No hay nada. Mate, I'm not being funny, but if that actually happened and you were flicking on the light off and on and you were seeing that shadow bastard or whatever right in the corner, I mean, would you keep on turning off the light? No hay nada. Oh, the mate. Fuck? He notices the lights to the bathroom are somehow turned on. And as he goes to turn them on... Look at the white face. Look at you with your white face. Huh? 
off, he notices a creepy dark figure with a pale grey face just stand <coughs> standing there by the door in front of him. But no. as he turns the lights on in the room, the figure mysteriously vanishes. Creeped out by the whole situation, he decides to leave the lights on for comfort as he goes back to sleep. But then unfortunately, oh, he is awoken to some terrifying sounds once again. This time, it came from above, so he decides to go and check it out. <laughs> Hello! You alright? Ramble it, mate! Shit. Oh fucking hell, mate. I don't know why I'm on edge. I don't know why I'm so on edge tonight, mate. I'm so on edge. I'm on the edge of glory. Scabby do didn't dare it and do. Nadie. Y esto tiene candado, no se puede abrir. No se puede abrir. Que mierda. Yo ya me voy de aquí. As he is walking up the stairs, the door to the rooftop opens by itself. And then oh, a creepy figure mate. can be seen sticking out from the doorway. Look at you with your sticky out fucking slaphead, mate. What's that all about? Look at you. Just briefly before disappearing. But when he goes to check, there's, there's nothing nobody there. there. Now a few days later, the power goes out. So he lights some candles around the house and then starts to hear creepy noises coming from outside. What he sees next is terrifying. Take a look. Here we go, mate. Hace un rato se me fue la luz y he estado escuchando ruidos muy extraños afuera. Prendí unas velas, pero ya me dio miedo salir porque ya los ruidos ya empeoraron. Oh, please don't be crawling. Please don't be crawling with crooked, bent fucking elbows, mate. Oh my God, look at you right there, mate. What the fuck? It's clear as day. It's just a fucking sheet. Se le ve la cara pálida. Se le ve la cara. It's just a sheet. ¿Quién eres, por favor? A fucking nice, sexy, um, black velvet sheet. Black velvet. Da, 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 da. Sheet, by the way, I might add. Por favor, ya déjame. Are you gonna pull that away? Nobody's ya gonna déjame. be there. Are you gonna pull that away? Nobody's gonna be there. Nobody's gonna be there. Unless you've got a horrible looking face, love. Fuck that, mate. I'm fucking no, 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 no. gone, mate. Motherfucker, I'm gone. I'm gone. What? I would have. This is. This would have been me. <laughs> like it all coming out of my ass, mate. It would have just all come out of my ass, and then I have that black sheet just to wipe myself. No way. If that was legit, mate, and that was real, no way. No way. Look at you. Let's see that again. Mate, that's bloody. Right beside the bathroom. Oh my god, look at it though. Just imagine that, guys. Just imagine that. Hey, hello. Just imagine that. It's actually happening. Oh. Once again, we can see a cover standing on its own. But you don't even see any legs and stuff, mate. Uh, to be fair, if I was a ghost, I would use a sheet. Just to be so cliche. As if a person were underneath. But to his surprise, he pulls the cover, only to find nobody there. This scared him to the point that he ended up calling somebody to come and bless his house. Bless it, bloody burn it down. So did he capture a real ghost on camera? Or is it all just a simple ruse? You judge. If you did like the video, please, please give a little like, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye bye.
the merch at kaspersite.com. Just Rambo it.